All right, you guys. Today I'm going to uh, <clears throat> take parts off of uh, this power old power supply PCB. I got my Green Lee hooked up here uh, on temperature setting mode. So let me just position the camera just a bit here. Okay, and I'm gonna test the uh, the tip. goes up set to 300 so two fifty eight sixty not too bad so yeah that's a temperature setting and you could calibrate the the hacko or hako So I already went to town and I removed these pieces. So right here, remove those pieces already. Got too excited. And now I'm gonna show you, you know, what I'm gonna do here. Let's back this up. All right, let's take this guy out. just falls right out there Can you see what I'm doing okay that's next let's take this transformer out. just comes right out. <clears throat> Let's take this uh this one out here, the four pronger dude. Oh yeah, these are bigger pins and I don't have the tip, but I found out last night that uh if I hold the tip against the uh the solder mound, it should get it. Hmm, I'm guessing those are too big of pins. Oh, there we go. So if I hit them on a deep angle like that, See what I'm doing here? It's hitting it at a deeper angle. And this piece should just come right off. See that? Can you guys see that? Hopefully. Alright, what else? Let's take off this bigger transformer. We'll have to do the same uh, side deal. See if that came out. Now there's still a bunch of solder on there. So a failed attempt on that one. Let's take this uh, blue guy out of here. And he 
should just come right out. It's glued on there, so. But yeah, I went to town on it last night. I got all the capacitors out. Let's take some of these uh, little tiny transistors out. Where are they located? One there. And one there, okay. There's two, and look at that, there's one, two. See how quickly that was? Can you see that? What else, you guys? Oh, there's a little electrolytic, or not electrolytic, a ceramic capacitor right here above these three. Let's take that guy out. at once there but here it is <laughs> isn't that awesome eh so I took off one of these um, you know uh, heat sinks with the uh, two uh, regulators there so let's go ahead and do that and near there three oh and a big one so it's these three sections right here I'm shaky this morning. Alright. So there's the screw now. And now this thing should just pop right out. See that? It's freaking awesome. So. Just after that, I shut it off, so. Can everything be seen? Yeah, it can. So, yeah, you guys had trouble with this bigger one here. There's still a lot of solder on there. And on the bottom. Well, the bottom comes out, or this side. But there's still a lot of solder on the other side. This is a power supply from a, from a computer. It was an old ATX, like 200 watt. So pretty cool, yeah. And freaking this little IC here took it off. It was uh, right here. And man, that was awesome. Quick and fast. Came out no problem. So yeah, you guys, I know I showed this board before, but this is a board, this is an Atari Asteroids board, it says here, no good, I bought it from a operator, or operators that are still in business, uh, downtown in my city here, but this is an Asteroids, you know, version 4, I believe, anyway. But I took all the RAM chips out. They're 2114 uh, 4K RAMs. There's one, two, three, four. Missing this guy. I have to research him. And two other RAM chips right here I took out. Here's the CPU. A MOS 6502. In a previous video, I was going to switch that out for a Nintendo. So 
But I want to get this going here. I'm missing a crystal right here. I got the part from Bob Roberts. I ordered two crystals. And there's a few uh, there's a few um, ceramic capacitors missing on this board around this general area. But yeah, I want to get this board going and test it out in uh, my asteroids. First, I got to get this chip. And I got a bunch of these from Bob Roberts. So yeah, you guys. That's what I'm going to look at next. Of course, the other uh, asteroids is working. It's out in the living room working. So, But this is what I want to get going, you guys. This is what I use to make my... Uh, outro video <laughs> but I want to get that going alrighty just, um, let's get one more thing out of here what do I want I want this little that blue guy I was talking about it's right here talking about so yeah now I'm just gonna clean the tip or forcing it in there and use the little tip deal preventative maintenance and I say to uh, add a little bit of solder on the end there we go close it up so I did my research and um, the chamber is supposed to be yellow like that and they pre-put uh, solder on the end to uh, you know minimize oxidation so yeah this is brand new I said in my you know opening unboxing video that it wasn't but it actually is so all right I'm gonna shut this off now you guys put it in its holder there you have it so Here's all the little pieces I got off the board. Two heat sink deals with uh, power tra um, transistors or um, regulators. Two big caps here, 200 volt, 470 microfarad transformer, an IC, and this is a this is a L139B. KA3511. You can check that out on the internet see what that does. This weird deal. An AC something. Don't know. Three caps that are 10 volts, 300 and, or 3030 microfarad. Another, uh, <clears throat> another power uh, regulator bunch of little caps that blue guy I was talking about some transistors a nice mylar cap and a whole bunch of other little goodies so yeah you guys let me just take this camera out of the tripod quickly alright so these nice little pieces here are gonna nicely housed inside my uh, my draw set here Put all my little parts and pieces in there so that's my good score and the good hawk out <laughs> so yeah you guys uh, thanks for watching edit this video and uh, make it look good alright have a good one <laughs>